Many farmers grapple with water shortage during dry weather periods despite lots of runoff water when it rains, leaving the farmers with no source of water for their livestock and crops. The Smart Water for Agriculture project under the Netherlands Development Organization, in an effort to showcase water storage, has set up a lined water pan demonstration site in Katangi area, Machakos County. The Smart Water for Agriculture project is a project whereby we are working with small and medium and medium scale entrepreneurial farmers. And we're looking at uh, helping farmers improve or increase water productivity as well as increase their income. How are we doing this? We're looking at uh, introducing uh, water efficient technologies that will save on labor and also looking at the amount of water that te the technologies consume. The water pan is used to store water during the rainy season so that the water can be used during the dry season when there is no rainfall. This way the farmers are able to do irrigation during the dry season and this way they are able to increase their production and this results to an increase in their income. So what is the starting point for constructing a water pan? If you want to excavate a water pan, you start by looking at the size of land that you want to irrigate and what crop you want to grow. And then from there, uh, you, that you get the amount of water that you require for three months, that is 90 days, during the dry season. So that way, when you get the amount of water that you require, then you're able to generate the measurements of the pan that you're required to excavate. And then the measurements of the pan are the ones that determine the size of the liner that you need to use. The liner is basically used to reduce seepage into the ground. There are two options for the design of the water pan. Ideally, it can either be rectangular or square shaped. The storage volumes of water pans are county specific because there are factors to consider such as evaporation rates, crop water requirements and method of water application which varies across counties. For instance, a farmer in Machakos County irrigating a quarter acre of land would be required to store about 480 cubic meters of water while one in Nakuru County is required to store about 420 cubic meters of water assuming that both ponds will have no other source of inflow apart from runoff water. As you can see from this pond, we normally have the top dimensions being longer than the bottom di dimensions so that we have a slope running from the top to the bottom. This way we increase the stability of the pond in such a way that even if the pond is full of water, it does not easily collapse. The other reason for wanting to be very careful with uh, how we do the slope is uh, because we want to have as minimal evaporation from the water pan as possible. If you look at the, this area, uh, you can see that it's very dry, so we do not want the amount of water that is getting into the pan to evaporate away. The farmer is also able to get guidance on the cost involved in developing the water pan. Yeah. The cost involved in the development of a water pan include uh, the excavation costs, which could be manual or maybe you can use an excavator, but the manual one is cheap, cheaper because liners are of different uh, costs uh, depending on the quality and the thickness of the liner. And uh, most of the liners that are available in the market range from 0.3 millimeters to 1 millimeter. And going by the cost, the thicker one is more expensive than the thinner one. Initial capital expenditure for a water pan designed to irrigate a quarter acre of land would cost a farmer between 50,000 and 200,000 shillings, depending on the liner thickness and the method of excavation. Farmers may perceive this to be expensive, but the guarantee the water pan provides in terms of storage capacity and durability far outweighs the cost of construction in the long run. Comparing the water pans to maybe storage tanks, the plastic storage tanks or the concrete tanks, the pans are way much cheaper and affordable. And at the same time, if you look at the lifespan of a water pan, it could last for more than 10 years uh, because most of the liners available in the market can last for that period of time. Uh, in terms of costs, uh, the, co the development of a water pan could cost even maybe a third times lesser than the cost of the, pa the, cost of the storage tanks. The development of a water pan sizing up as a decision-making tool by the Smart Water for Agriculture team has made pond sizing and cost estimation much easier. The app is easy to use, it can be installed in an Android phone and currently available on Play Store. We have developed a water pan dimensions app that can help farmers 
from the counties we are working with to determine the dimensions of the water pan and also the cost implications of making this water pan bearing into consideration the evaporation rates which vary across the different counties. It makes it easier for farmers whereby the farmer logs onto the app and they input the size of the land they would like to irrigate and the app auto-generates the dimensions and also the approximate cost of constructing the water pan. As farmers adopt this efficient way of water harvesting and storage, it will help them increase production from their farms and eventually increase their incomes.